the first Bulgarian capitals. The land where Bulgaria was founded is a lowland amidst green hills and rocky plateaus. The whitest stone ruins are remains of Bulgaria's first capital, Pliska. Here, in 681, Khanas Baruch established the first Bulgarian state. Archaeologists searched for this ancient city for a long time. During excavations near the village of Aboba in the beginning of the 20th century, the mystery was brought to an end. The remains of the ancient capital lie about 20 kilometers northeast of the town of Shumen. For two centuries, Pliska was the main political, military, cultural and economic center of Bulgaria. Excavations have uncovered a medieval city, protected by mighty fortified walls and three defensive rings. The outer ring consisted of deep ditches, the middle one had stone walls 12 meters high, and the third one had walls of clay bricks protecting the citadel. Behind this triple defense lay the internal city. It was built in three stages and it was quite large for medieval standards. The palace of Khan Krum was erected during the first stage. It was surrounded by secret entrances through which the inhabitants could leave in emergencies. It had a large storage building and baths that were quite advanced for those times. New fortified walls were erected later, a small yard and, as impossible as it may sound, new baths with a complex heating system were also built. A splendidly decorated throne room and two pagan temples are also heritage of Khan Krum's reign. A large basilica was built in the third stage. It was the largest Christian church on the Balkan Peninsula. Pliska is the city where Bulgarians adopted Christianity. It served as Bulgaria's capital for more than 200 years. Today, all that remains of it is what the earth has preserved in its bosom. The next main city during the first Bulgarian kingdom was Preslav. This is the place which Tsar Boris I chose for a military camp and which Tsar Simeon I turned into the golden capital of Bulgaria. Preslav was built by the Tichy River and in 893 it was declared the capital of Bulgaria. During the Bulgarian Middle Ages it grew to be one of the most beautiful and magnificent cities in Southeast Europe. Preslav consisted of an external and an internal city and occupied an enormously large territory for those times, three and a half square kilometers. The external city was an irregular pentagon. It followed the relief and was well protected by the area. The internal fortress was almost in the middle and spread on 200,000 square meters. The throne palace with columns has been preserved as well as the large castle and the round church richly decorated with mosaics, marble and ceramic icons. Both capitals were demolished and plundered by invaders. But even judging by what has remained, one can infer their monumental architecture, their former magnificence and the might of the first Bulgarian kingdom.